What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, you're looking for an ex espresso maker? You're probably gonna go through the same oh, thought process that I did, kind of decisioning process. And you probably saw my video recently. Uh, I bought an espresso, and the word that's on the front there is virtuo. And so what I wanted to do today is just take a minute and explain to you what the difference is between the Vertuo line and the original line Nespresso's are. So if that's interesting to you as you're making your decision, stay tuned. We'll be right back. Get it wrong, Panda. All right, welcome back, guys. Uh, so the question today is, what's the difference between the original line of Nespresso and the Virtuo line of Nespresso? And they're really kind of 1.0 versus 2.0. The original line is the 1.0, Virtuo line is the 2.0. And when I was kind of shopping for in a Nespresso machine, I wanted to know what the differences were and, you know, and then have that and weigh it against uh, kind of my needs and then also the cost differences and then eventually pick one. Now, you know, I bought, the Nespresso Virtuo, and uh, some things that I wanna share with you are the capsule differences. So this is the pod, the capsule that goes in the original line. This is not necessarily representative of all of them, but they're basically the same basic shape with the foil on top. What you'll notice on the Virtuo line is that they're different. There are these bowls, and the reason that the capsules are different is because the coffee makers um, press the espresso differently. So in this case, you put this in the Nespresso maker, it injects hot water at um, under high pressure, and that's how it presses that water through it to make the espresso. On the Virtuo line, what it does is it punches in the center and then punches holes all the way around the edge. And then this little cup here, the pod, spins at like hundreds of revolutions a minute, thousands of revolutions a minute, maybe uh, several revolutions a second. And th that causes centrifugal force. There it went. Uh, got another one, luckily. <laughs> that causes centrifugal force that I think presses the, the water as well as the grounds around the outer edge of the pod. And then I, I'm not actually sure if the, um, the coffee is pushed out from the holes on the edge or from the center, but either way, I, I would assume that the edge, that the, the edge is, uh, you know, kind of shooting out of the coffee, but you get kind of that same effect. You get, you know, a, a concentrated cup of coffee from both of these, but in two different methods. Now, the thing I will say about that is that it's not, as I pick up my other pod, it is not, oh, as far as I can tell, something that affects the quality of the coffee. So whether you have the original line or the Virtual line pods, uh, at least from the taste of the espresso shots, they're about the same. All right, now here's where we start getting into some of the, the big differences that actually do matter, so, right? So the method of making the coffee doesn't matter to me as much. The difference here is that the original line, these little pods, which are only about the size of a giant thimble, right? Um, basically make espresso shots only. So you get your typical small cup of espresso. The Virtual line has two sizes of pods, right? I'm holding these suckers together here. You can see how much deeper this one is than this one. That's because this is essentially the shot of espresso that you might expect, and uh, expect especially from the original line, but from this one. So you can see they kind of hold about the same amount. You know, this one's obviously much bigger in diameter, but you know, it's flatter too, right? So these are the equivalent of each other. And that's because only uh, original only makes shots, and the Virtual can make shots as well. But, as I just showed you, this pod is much bigger and this one will brew a full cup of coffee, kind of your standard small cup of coffee. Now, the way it does it in the Virtual line machines is that you can see on the bottom here, we have barcodes around the edge. And this is very much like the Keurig 2.0. Not only are they reading the barcode to figure out how to brew it in terms of how much water and time, you know, based on the the size here, I don't know, I can't really tell that there's differences. I can see a little bit bigger black bars on this one. Um, but the machine will basically continue to make two different types of coffee. That's important because if you really want more than just the espresso shot, you're gonna always have to add water to these. So not only are you gonna have to brew your cup of coffee, but then you're gonna have to heat up and boil a, a, a kettle of water and, and kind of water it down, right? And that's gonna be a problem if you wanna have a cup after cup after cup. The nice thing about this is you still have that capability, but then if you want a full cup, you want it um, 
proportion in the exact same way, you know, not overly diluted or not under diluted, exactly how it's supposed to be brewed, then this gives you a lot of capability and it's a lot more convenient in my opinion. And that was really the biggest selling point for me that I could make the shot or the cup without having to heat up additional coffee to do that. Now, let's get to uh, the big drawback of these pods versus this one. And the biggest one, as far as I can tell, is that these don't require any licensing. They actually might require licensing, but they didn't build in any um, you know, DRM into it effectively. What you can see here is that there is no barcode like there is on the Virtual Line ones. And in fact, this pod that I have here from the original line is an aftermarket pod. So if you get the original line, you can find uh, these pods and coffee and coffees from a lot of manufacturers and uh, a lot of different varieties for really, really cheap. And that's really the kind of the uh, advantage of the original Keurig 1.0 as well. Um, in fact, you could actually use one of the old, those standard uh, plastic Keurig reusable cups and put your own coffee grounds in there and uh, brew up your, your own coffee. And you can do that still with the original line here. So you can find these, and I found this. I found I got a, I bought a package of ten to demonstrate it for four dollars. And so you know I'm at forty cents of a cup here, and I don't even have an original line Nespresso maker. But that's kind of the power of the original line is not only a huge variety going to the aftermarket. Uh, you can save yourself a lot of money. And if you're going to drink a lot of coffee and use the Nespresso a lot, I would highly recommend going the original line. Now the problem here is this barcode, which they use for you know processing it in the Nespresso machine, is also used for that digital rights management. I, I'm not using DRM appropriately, but for kind of the official licensing, you know, companies will have to go to Nespresso and make sure that they have them printed correctly as well as the right code and all that. And that gives Nespresso the capability to really control this market. And you get see that reflected in the prices here. I will tell you what, if you order sampler packs of these bad boys, they are like $3 a cup. Now, if you order a, uh, a package of 30 like I did, you know, I think I got them for about 25 bucks. So I'm a little under a dollar a pot. But, you know, shopping around, I'm at a buck. And on this one, not shopping around, I found it for 40 cents. So I'm twice as expensive per cup on the Virtual line than I'm on the original line. So those are the big differences, right? Um, you're l more convenience in the Virtual line between cu cup or shot. Uh, I think and the convenience and you know, I think really great flavors um, There's a little technology difference between them But the big one is gonna be long-term cost for you depending on what you really need So hopefully that helps you make a decision whether you want the original line or the Virtua line Pros and cons. That's it. If you have questions put them in the comment section below uh, I'm also gonna put links to uh, the Nespresso machine that I have, which is the Virtua, as well as one for the original line. Um, you can get them a really good price point. So if you wanna pick them up, check the links in the description and uh, pick one up at Amazon. I really love it. It's great to have a gourmet cup of coffee once in a while. Peter Von Panda, out.